welcome to a demo of creating custom themes on GeForce, a sound spectrum visualizer. This also applies to the other sound spectrum visuals, Whitecap and Aeon. Before we can get into themes, we have to learn a little bit about what themes are doing and why. Why do we have themes? Well, it's to sort of enable and disable large sets of configs quickly without having to deal with anything. Try to make this software so that an event or maybe a moment comes up and you just want to select a theme and it's right for the moment and you just run this thing on a screen and it's good to go. That was the spirit of how I did this. The system could use a lot of improvement and I was a younger developer much longer ago when I made it so I, I would have done it a lot differently if I made it now. So thanks for, for dealing with it and being patient with it and that's what we have. So. So let's learn about it and see how we can use it. All right, so when a theme is enabled, it implies another number of config categories are enabled. Well, what's a config category? Let's go inside the color map config type here in GeForce and take a look. So we go into color map categories. Now, a couple things here. When you see the lock, that means the, the category or any item came with is in the engine folder and so is read only. That's what the lock means. Suggested means, oh, th this is basically all the configs or what we suggest um, that run by default. So in general, that's almost all of the configs that we ship. That's the, what we pick out. But we ship, um, so some of these other categories are basically subsets. So let's, for example, look at Infernal. You can see here there are a bunch of like fire themed looking configs, right? So, and if you look all the way at the bottom, um, there's this thing called custom. So that's what we're going to use to select and specify our own custom set of color maps. So let's take a look. Um, the top one lets us view it, which is going to be empty since there's nothing in it yet. Now let's actually go and edit it. So here, let's say, um, oh, I really like a distant fire. Let's say, and I like this and this. Okay, cool. So now we select those three. And sure enough, we can see that our custom category for color maps has the items we set in there. All right. And let's say we go back now. Now we're going to go back and make a custom theme. So let's do that. So we go, whoops, we go into the settings. And in our theme editor here, now we're getting a list of all the themes that are currently with GeForce that, that we ship with. And there's the padlocks, so there they are. For example, there's a, let's look at the, let's take a, let's learn about this and look at one of the themes that are already there. So let's look at the Infernal theme. It just happens to have the same name as that color map category we looked at. And we'll see why in a second. They don't have to be the same names, but let's take a look. Um, as you can see here, this Infernal category has a plus side, meaning, hey, add all the, color maps for this um, that are in this category to the theme. Um, and you can see this is the only thing adds. Let's say this theme also would want to add a, all the color maps from Pure. Well, it would have a plus there from two. And so you can see, and as we scroll down, the theme specifies what categories are enabled for each kind of config type. So here's all the wave shapes. I actually just pressed one. We can say I tried to edit one and oh, it's, you know, it's read, it's, it's locked. That's what it's trying to say. It's read only, but you can see in this, in the infernal category, oh, look, there's flow in and flow out. Those, those categories of flow fields tend to be very flowy and broad. They show off the colors really well. So this infernal theme clearly is about making nice big swaths of color and looking flame things. You can see natural also is very spread out kind of look and uh, for particles, we have all the suggested ones minus the um, particles that tend to take up the whole screen or react everywhere. So you can kind of see the intention, say, behind this particular theme. And sure enough, the sprites that are enabled are just this, this abstract category for sprites because the abstract, those pictures happen to be, again, very large swaths of um, grayscale and stuff that work well with the flame colors. So now if we take a look at the Infernal config and we either press the dice or start the slideshow, we can see all that stuff getting picked out. And for example, sure enough, if we go into 
um, the active color maps, you can see all the color maps there that are, that are going. Alright, so now we go back and let's take a look at going a step further. We're going to make our own theme now, so let's go to... Our theme editor, and now we're going to scroll down and create a new theme. You could use this other one there, I'm not going to go into it, but let's just go create new theme. Bam, it, it scrolled up for me so it clipped off the page, but a new one appeared. There's custom one. We're going to focus on custom one. Sometimes it's easy to select the other one, so let's just remember to keep selecting a custom one. So we go in custom one, and by default, it's selected, it's added all the custom categories for each config type, fine, whatever. Um, we're going to go through and edit each one. So let's say for our custom category, let's say we want to have those configs, those color map configs we picked out earlier. So those are already in custom. That's already enabled. Um, and let's say I like the infernal ones. So I'm going to add the plus for infernal. That means it's going to take them out. And let's say, you know, just be, so you can see how as I select them, it, it goes through all the possibilities. I can either add all the infernal ones take any of them away if any of them intersect or NA. So we're just going to say add all the infernal ones and the four that I put in the custom. Right, and we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that in a second. So let's just leave that off for now. Um, and as we scroll down, let's use all the normal suggested wave shapes um, and take that off. The By default, the custom uh, category for each config type is empty. So it doesn't matter if these are, if it's plus or minus, right? Um, so we can just leave that. For flow fields, let's say I really like fractals. So I'm just gonna um, enable the fractal type there. And for sprites, let's say I really like the subtle ones. And let's say for, or excuse me, that was particles. And let's say for sprites, let's just go for abstract. Or let's, um, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, and again, this doesn't matter because these happen to be empty um, by default, but you probably, do you want them? Whoops. Probably do you want them off. It doesn't matter right now, but you get the idea. So now for custom for our custom one theme here, the big thing that we did is we enabled our custom thing here, or our custom color map category. So now if we go back, and now let's select custom one. Alright, now we didn't see anything change, so what's going on? Remember that themes affect the slideshow, which is the automated switching of configs, and the, the what's randomly selected. So if I'm pressing the dice, I'm just going to get all the configs from this. So as you can see, it's the flow fields. You can see the, all the fractals it's picking out. Remember that one of the categories for flow fields was fractals. And sure enough, if we go into flow fields, and I go into active flow fields, there we go. You can see how all the flow fields that are enabled are all the ones that are in the um, uh, the fractal category there, right? Cool. And if we go into the color maps, we go into active color maps, you can see the three that happen to be there, and those are there because those are the three that we put in the custom thing there. So there, you can see them there. Now, if I were to edit them and say add, um, you know, let's say all the secrets here and go back, and the active color maps, sure enough, all the secrets shows up because we're currently running the custom one theme and custom one theme uses the custom color map category. All right, cool. Where are we at now? So now we've done this stuff and let's say um, we wanna make another change. We can go into the theme editor and we go into custom one, be careful, uh, select the other one. Or, um, and so now let's say we want to do um, also add in the infernal ones, all well, the infernal color map category. We add that in. Now we go back, go into the color maps, and sure enough, we see all the infernal plus the four that we add. Now, why aren't we seeing anything on the screen? Well, the slide shows off, so we're not really seeing much. So if we either press the dice, it's going to start picking from all these other color maps we have. It's hard to see because of the fractal config right now, but. Or if I turn the slideshow on, G, and just go to next config, it's or next color map, it's just going through. So to recap, I'm gonna have to chill out here on the other one. To recap, we've looked at 
setting a theme and then it enables all the categories associated with it and then for each of those categories it's either make it makes a composite config list for each config type and remember as always themes are activated when either the slideshow is on or you're randomly switching from config to config and the next part we'll look at hey how do I change this from custom one to making it a little more interesting sounding name and once we get to that you can start making more and more so let's take a look at that